Dylan Rayola is a Nebraska legacy. His father, uh, a Nebraska legend. His story in regards to his recruiting path was that he was an Ohio State commit uh, about a year ago, something in that range. Decommitted from Ohio State. He visited Nebraska a few weeks ago, caused quite the stir as he showed up at a basketball game on uh, campus there in Lincoln. He's playing his football in um, Arizona. Now we're looking at arguably the top quarterback prospect in the nation, and he's made his way to USC for a visit over the weekend as well. So, of course, you got to think in regards to uh, right now it's a – seemingly USC, Nebraska, Georgia uh, battle for his services that uh, based on style of offense, based on what Caleb Williams performed last year, and obviously Lincoln Riley's uh, history with quarterbacks, that USC should have a nice shot uh, at Mr. Rayola. Yeah, so one of my staff writers want to give a shout out to Don James, Donovan James. Uh, he picked up an on three sports uh, recruiting analysis uh, that has uh, Rayola as you know a slight favorite to go to USC. This is per on three sports. So uh, one of my uh, two staff writers at Trojans Wire picked up on this. So you can take that for what it's worth. I'm not saying like, oh, okay, this is happening, but just that like USC is in a pretty reasonable position. And let's just say, if you're if you're a quarterback prospect and you look at what Lincoln Riley has done with quarterbacks at the collegiate level at Oklahoma with Baker with Kyler and then getting Jalen Hurts Super Bowl quarterback uh, for a year and turning him into the force that he became giving him the tools he needed to then become this sensational NFL star with the Eagles Caleb Williams Heisman Trophy winner uh, you know like. <laughs> Why would you not want to play quarterback for Lincoln Riley? Like, is there another coach in college football that you would rather be a quarterback for? You know, certain certain coaches, certain programs, like Clemson. Like, if you at Clemson, you want to play defensive lineman. Like that is that is the program where you want to play defensive line. If you want to be a receiver, I mean, USC's right there, but also like Ohio State. You know, if you go to Ohio State, you're an elite receiver. Like, you know, you're going to get top rate development there. Uh, you know, if you want to go to if you want to be a great defensive lineman, I mentioned Clemson, like also Michigan is another, you know, like each there are various programs. We know this that have great development at certain positions. I think at Alabama, you would consider linebacker uh, when you look at uh, Will Anderson, you look at the other great linebackers that Nick Saban uh, has cranked out over the years. Uh, so on and on we go, you could go through the list in terms of the various positions, but at USC with Lincoln Riley quarterback, like you, that, like you want to be playing quarterback for Lincoln Riley, you know, that you're going to max out uh, in college. You know, most of like, mo like most of his quarterbacks have, he has a great success rate in terms of getting the most out of his quarterbacks uh, in, at, in college football. So like that just makes sense. Like if you're talking to Lincoln Riley as and you're a defensive line recruit, okay, that's very different. Like, oh, I'm a defensive lineman. I got to play for Lincoln Riley. Nah, I mean we're not there. We're not at that point. Uh, Lincoln Riley asks Grinch, like it's just you know that doesn't fit. But quarterback, it, it is as natural and perfect a fit as one can imagine. And of course, you have Malachi Nelson as the guy who's going to take the torch from Caleb Williams. Uh, in 2024 so you know if you're uh, Dylan Rayola you can you know kind of you can study Caleb Williams from afar but then you'll be able to see Malachi Nelson in the Big Ten and then you can come in behind him and you can just be part of a line of succession uh, at USC uh, at the quarterback spot so like the idea that USC is a favorite again I'm not saying well this is going to happen but I am saying it makes complete sense, right? It, it make it, it's natural. It's pretty organic and logical. And so we'll see if Lincoln Riley can close the sale on this one.